Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mabel and right in this video, I will be talking to you about strawberry legs or KP. So if your skin looks like this or like this, it is obvious that you're suffering from strawberry skin or strawberry legs. Right in this video, I'll be talking to you about how to get rid of them. I'll be back. Beauty Del Cito. Beauty Del Cito. Glow Beyond Glamour. If you're new here and watching me for the first time, please do well to subscribe to my channel and put on your post notifications so that you will be the very first person to get notified whenever I post new content. Now, strawberry legs are those black dots that we see on the skin surface, um, especially on the legs and on the thighs. And they may appear pinkish or reddish on people with a lighter skin tone or whiter skin tone. Strawberry skin or strawberry legs, which is also known as KP or keratosis pilaris, occurs when enlarged pores or hair follicles are clogged with dead skin cells, excess oil or bacteria. Some people experience strawberry legs after shaving, whilst others as a result of dry skin condition. Those who use hot water for bathing can develop strawberry skin. Hard water contains high amount of minerals such as magnesium and calcium that tend to darken the skin, dry the skin and strip the skin of its natural oils. Hard water also tends to clog the pores of the skin due to its inability to wash off soap from the skin surface properly. There is no cure for strawberry skin, but there are actions that you can take to reduce the appearance. Today, we are looking at moisturizers, exfoliators and laser treatments that you can incorporate in your skincare routine to achieve that beautiful, healthy, glowy and brighter skin. If you're experiencing strawberry skin, the number one thing you should incorporate in your routine is shower gels. So we are going to do away with bath soaps and paste soaps because paste soaps and bath soaps tend to dry the skin as compared to shower gels. Shower gels are more hydrating, nourishing and soothing to the skin as compared to bath soaps and, and paste soaps, okay? So uh, talking about shower gels, I'm going to recommend this one, Dav Deep Nourishing um, Body Wash. It's very, very good. Trust me. It really nourishes the skin. It bubbles so well and it has this sweet um, scented fragrance and you don't get to feel um, or experience dry skin after bathing. You still feel that your skin is moisturized after uh, patting your skin dry. It, it keeps you that smooth feel. You can Give it a try. Trust me. I don't come here to talk about products that do not work. Okay. I have used it before. I wish you can just, you can figure out the quantity left. It is up to here. I don't talk about products that I haven't used before. This is a good product. It doesn't dry the skin. It nourishes the skin and gives you that smooth, supple feel after bathing. So you can grab it and trust me. You are going to love it. The second thing you should be incorporating in your skincare routine is taking of warm showers. Taking warm showers is so soothing to the skin. It relaxes the muscles, opens up the pores, and prevents dry skin. So if you're experiencing strawberry skin, minimize taking cold showers. This takes us to number three exfoliation. It could be physical exfoliation or chemical exfoliation, but I will recommend physical exfoliation so you can just grab a very good body scrub that contains um, lactic acid salicylic acid or glycolic acid and i recommend this see i have used this product and trust me it is very very good it gets rid of those dark dark spots i mean the, the real strawberry spot just two times and it's going to get rid of you're going to feel that smooth soft supple spot free skin after using this product take a look at this product these products are just awesome trust me they are good i can't really i can't really grab anything written on the product i don't know if it's japanese language or korean language the only thing i can read on this package and on, on the label is um the name of the brand that is essence and what exactly it does to the body 
The pink one says it's, it prevents skin aging and increases aroma, comfort, and freshness. And that is true. The granules, the granules are so tiny and they don't end up um, piercing the skin or hurting the skin. They are not so abrasive on the skin. It smells yummy. It foams so well. You may not even need to use soap after using this one. Just one wash, you're going to feel your skin so smooth, supple, and lush. It's available in different colors. We have the yellow, the purple, the, the blue, the green, the white, the pink, and a lot more. So far, those are the colors I have seen. But I've, I have also seen that there is another brand um, that has same packaging but different name. So this is um, Jean Wies. That is the name of this product Jean Wies. That is the that is the brand. That is the brand name. But we have a different brand <clears throat> with similar packaging, same content with different brand name. I've not tried the other brand before, but I believe they are almost the same. So you can either grab this or the other one. So if you're somebody who um, always rests your elbows on your thighs while washing, it is possible you're going to develop um, those black, black, black spots here. When you start using this um, body scrub, it's going to erase everything together with um, a good shower gel, like I said, um, you can go for this Dove shower gel. I've been using it. <laughs> Adam, you remember this shower gel, right? So, um, before I talk about moisturizers, let me talk to you about um, shaving, okay? If you're the type who shaves with razor or shaving machine, yeah, there is a way to go about it. You know, those who grow hairs on their legs, okay, after shaving, if you're not careful, you may develop those black, black spots that is strawberry legs. They are called strawberry because... Um, the dots or the, the spots look like that of um, the seeds on strawberries. If you are somebody who grows hair on your legs and you want to shave, if you can do waxing, okay? You know, waxing is painful, but then it gives you that smooth result. It's painful. If you, if you are someone who cannot stand pain and would want to be doing shaving, fine, you can go ahead and do shaving. Um, laser is also another option. Laser tr treatment, laser hair removal um, procedures are also very good, but they are quite expensive. So if you can be consistent with a laser, fine. If you have the cash, you can be going for the laser hair removal procedures. But if you don't, if you're on a budget, then you can be doing the shaving with, um, with a shaving stick, a razor. Or a shaving machine and this is how you should do it there is a technique to it you can just be shaving in all the directions so assuming you want to shave you shave in just one direction you can't just shave like this come this way come this way come this way no so if you're somebody who shaves your um, private areas that way you're going to have um, boils bumps and chicken skin after shaving that place must look um smooth and and you know, beautiful, attractive. Now let's come back to your legs. So shave in same direction, same direction. If you do it that way, it's going to reduce the appearance of those black, black dots on the skin. Don't shave and exfoliate. Okay, don't shave and exfoliate immediately. The moment you shave, after shaving your, or waxing your legs, the place becomes more sensitive. So you just need to be gentle on the skin and wait for like um, four days before you exfoliate the area that way you will be able to achieve the kind of result you want to achieve without any problem now the last thing we are going to incorporate in our skincare routine is good moisturizing product it could be lotions it could be oils or batteries okay so if you're choosing lotions you should uh, be more concerned about products that um, contain niacinamide um retinol and all that enough moisturizing properties okay nivea sari v and avino have good moisturizing products or moisturizing lotions so nivea coco okay nivea coco is very good it locks enough moisture onto the skin i made a review on nivea coco um, nourishing lotion you can grab that one I think have I still have it there. I use it once in a while, and it's if I really want to lock enough moisture onto the skin. If I'm stepping out there and I want moisture, I use the Nivea um, 
cocoa nourishing lotion. And then again, I also have Vaseline. I'll make a review on that. Um, Vaseline um, hydrating oil. Um, a minute, let me show you. So you remember I made a review on this um, Nivea Cocoa Nourishing Lotion, the 5 and one um, Nourishing Lotion. It smells amazing and it looks moisture onto the skin. So if you have dry and, and flaky skin, you should be looking at um, adding more moisturizing um, product into your skincare routine. And we also have this Vaseline Intensive Care, the Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. It's very good. Um, you see the level. I don't always use it. I do use it once in a while and it's been so amazing on the skin. It also has a nice smell and it moisturizes the skin so well. And I'll, I'll come back to make a review on this um, oil, okay? So if um, you are purchasing this, we have some that do not have the bubbles, okay? We have some of these oils that do not contain bubbles. This is from Vaseline. We have other brands that look almost the same, but when purchasing, you can go for Vaseline. Okay, so you should incorporate this in your skincare routine. But if your skin is very dry, if you have dry and flaky skin, go for shea butter. Shea butter is very, very good when it comes to treating the skin, healing the skin, hydrating the skin and repairing the skin it does a whole lot of good to the skin even if you are you are suffering from damaged skin or you are battling um, damaged skin you can incorporate shea butter into your skincare routine it's going to heal repair the skin soften the skin and put your skin in a very better state also if you want to lock enough moisture into the skin after bathing don't wait for the skin to be completely dry before you moisturize your skin or you apply your butters oils or lotions okay you just have to apply them while the skin is damp okay do not allow the skin to be overly dry before you apply your lotions you need to apply them while the skin is damp that way your skin is going to hydrate properly for a long period of time so that is it for today I believe um, it's been helpful, but don't forget that you cannot cure um, KP or strawberry skin completely. But there are things that you can do or there are things that you can incorporate in your skincare routine to um, reduce the appearance of the condition. Thank you very much for watching. If you love this video, kindly give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like and share. See you in my next video.